Hello, beautiful people. Three minutes on stable coins. Uh, a lot of conversation around stable coins. And so my opinion is that stable coins are secondhand toilet paper. And I'll explain to you very briefly, quickly why. Uh, three main reasons stable coins are uh, secondhand toilet paper. If you don't get what secondhand toilet paper is, I would like to sell you some secondhand toilet paper for whatever cryptocurrency you'd like to buy it. Shipping and handling must be paid in US dollars. So pulling out my handy dandy wallet, uh, go, uh, what is that, Black Panther? Uh, I don't actually have any US dollars. I've got some money, Woo! make it rain. Uh, let me see here. I've got some Durham's uh, from Dubai and I've got some Rials from Saudi Arabia. So these are pegged currencies. Uh, this is actually 10. This is 10 dirhams and 10 reals. These are pegged currencies. They're pegged to the US dollar. The value of these currencies fluctuate. Um, I forget what the exchange rate is right at the moment, but you can Google that. So 10 reals don't actually equal 10 dirham, which is sort of funny because if they did, you wouldn't need either of these. You could just use the US dollar. So number one reason why pegged currencies, I'm sorry, stable coins that are pegged to the US dollars don't work because the value of the US dollar fluctuates. As the value of the US dollar fluctuates, it takes more dirhams or more reals to equal your rent. Because the cost of your rent, it tends to become constant. Uh, rather, in the last decade, you've probably seen your rent go up, meaning it takes more dollars to pay for it. So if you have a stable coin, your rent is going to be denominated or noted in US dollars. It takes 1500 US dollars to pay your rent for a condo or a parking space here in Washington, DC. Uh, when I say a condo, I really mean a studio, a very tiny studio for 1500 bucks. I might not actually get you a studio here in DC, but that's a different story. Um, and so the number one reason why your quote unquote stable coin doesn't work when it's pegged to any other type of currency, that currency is susceptible to all market volatility. Uh, if you doubt this, look at the US dollar. Um, over the last, since 1913, the value of the US dollar has continually been tanking. And so that's the number one reason stable coins don't work. It's actually pretty much the only reason you need to hear. But people say, oh no, I'm gonna peg my stable currency to a commodity like gold, like silver. Uh, the problem with pegging your commodity to a gold, to pegging your stable coin to a commodity, the value of that commodity also fluctuates. Why? Simple matter of supply and demand. Uh, your invisible hand of the market is probably fisting you. Um, particularly if you happen to be a, I don't know, the Zimbabwean dollar, that's pegged to the US dollar. You see how well that worked. And even if you peg it to the value of oil, per, let's say, uh, depending on what's up with OPEC, uh, whether or not they're gonna cut production or increase production, the value of your oil also sh sh fluctuates. So when you're gonna peg your stable, your stable coin to a commodity, the value of that commodity fluctuate and third point, more importantly, the value of that commodity is noted in US dollars. Here's the third reason why stable coins don't work in our fiction. Uh, the United States Army after World War II, uh, courtesy of the Marshall Plan, uh, they kicked ass, took names, and made the US dollar the global currency of the global currency of standard, or the standard global currency, which is why these dollars and about 110 other uh, currencies are pegged uh, to the US dollar. You cannot have a stable coin unless you have the full faith and credit of a government to back it up with their military might. Um, so yeah, that's what the third reason you can't have a stable coin. There's some other minutia and details in that, but basically if you look at basic economics from supply and demand, as well as what you're pegging that currency to, that value isn't constant, it constantly fluctuates. Hence why having a stable coin is impossible because at the end of the day if your stable coin can compete with the us dollar then it's susceptible to all other uh, market conditions so if you're looking to have a stable coin go to the kuwaiti dollar i don't have any kuwaiti dollars on me at the moment but the kuwaiti dollars is three us dollars equals one kuwaiti dollars and it's been that way pretty much forever and so if you're looking for a stable currency switch to kuwaiti dollars and then the next challenge you'll discover who accepts kuwaiti dollars outside of kuwait I do, but that's a different story. So my name is Samson Williams. Uh, if you have a question or comment, if you like it or love it, share it. If you just think this is the dumbest thing you've heard today, comment down below. I'm always happy to have a conversation with you. Till then, stay awesome, wonderful people, um, except Chris Bennett, because Chris Bennett will agree, humans suck. Deuces.